School is now out just about everywhere, and while summer vacation is fun, summer learning loss can be a problem. In today's Kidsburg Report, Christine Sorensen shows us fun ways to keep kids' minds active in the summer and why it's so important. Christine. Well, Susan and Stacy, one study cited by the Brookings Institute found that kids in grades 2 to 9 lost 25 to 30 percent of their school year learning over the summer. And the problem disproportionately affects low-income students who may not be able to afford camps and vacations that can help. So here are some free and inexpensive ways to keep your kids' minds growing this summer. When you can't take a vacation to far off places, books can be a great way to travel to places real and imagined. Lots of fairy books. My favorite type of fairies are animal fairies. I'm just going to read pretty much anything. <laughs> anything that I can get my hands on. When kids find books they like, reading doesn't feel like schoolwork. But he went to a world war instead. The Carnegie Library of Pittsburgh has a summer reading program to encourage kids to read. They're giving kids a free book to keep after they read their first book and another free book after reading four more. The main Carnegie Library in Oakland kicks off the summer reading program with an extravaganza this Sunday, June 10th from noon till 5. There is something for little ones. We have, um, we'll have story times, we have toys outside, we have music outside. There'll be live performances. There will also be food trucks, library tours, chess lessons, and a used book sale. You can sign up for the summer reading program there or online. But don't forget the math, because math scores slide even more than English. But new apps are making math fun. Common Sense Media recommends the free app Motion Math. It turns math into a game for everything from addition and subtraction to fractions and graphing. Prodigy Math is also free and lets kids choose an avatar using math to defeat monsters. Sushi Monster is great for memorizing addition and multiplication tables. For $3.99, Marble Math uses mazes to encourage kids to solve math problems. And for $7.99, Dragon Box Big Numbers creates a whimsical land called Numia to master more advanced math skills. In the end, it often comes down to parents encouraging and rewarding children for taking a few minutes every day to keep their minds active over summer break, something they'll be glad they did when school starts up again. Books are the key to knowing and understanding whatever you're interested in, and I'm a huge reader, and if I can pass that on to them, that'll feel like probably one of my biggest successes as a parent. Now, when you go to the Kidsburg website, you'll see all kinds of additional ways to help keep your kids' minds active this summer. Things like visiting great places in our area, the Children's Museum, Science Center, the Art and Natural History Museums. And we have a link for you at kdka.com slash Kidsburg. And you'll also find links to the library's events this weekend on those Common Sense Media apps. So sometimes if the kids are on the iPad doing that work, okay, that's great. But then they start like swiping and going to the game. So how do you get them off the iPad? Right. Is there, are, are there other things to do? Well, you know, for math, I mean, we use math every day. So talk about that when you're at the grocery store, how much things are costing, adding it up while you're there, or cooking, fractions all throughout cooking. Um, games like Yahtzee or Monopoly, and there's so many fun versions of Monopoly. If you haven't seen all the versions, go to the store and find one that you like. All right, sounds good. Thanks. Thank Thanks, you. Christine.